The material preview options in Cinema 4D are basically just scene files, so you can add your own and customize them however you want. A great place to start is some of the preview scenes that come with Cinema 4D. And you'll find these in the Library Material Preview folder within your Cinema 4D Applications folder. Let's go ahead and open the Object Soft Shadow Preview. And we'll build a new custom preview based on this scene. So I'm going to go back to the Cineversity logo here and copy it and paste it into this Object Soft Shadow scene. We'll go ahead and switch into world mode and adjust the logo so that it's in the same spot as the existing object. And we'll go ahead and hide the object for now. There's a couple of things to keep in mind when you're creating a material preview scene. The first is that the object that contains the material that's going to be replaced needs to be named object. And then you need to remove the material assignment from any material that you actually want to have replaced, just like we have here in the object. So we'll select this texture tag and remove the material assignment by choosing clear. Now one more thing, you'll notice this object has a display tag. That's not necessary, but it is helpful because it adjusts the display of the material as you rotate it in the material preview. So I'm going to copy that up to the logo. We'll go ahead and delete the object. And if we wanted to, we can make any changes we wanted to now to the lighting, the HDRI map, and the background. Let's go ahead and do a quick render to see what this looks like. And that's what it's going to look like in our material preview. I'm going to save this out to the desktop. And now we want to go ahead and put this in our Cinema 4D preferences. To do that, we're going to go to Edit Preferences, click the Open Preferences folder button, and this will open up the Preferences folder location on your drive. We'll go ahead and close Cinema 4D. And within that Preferences folder, we need to navigate to Library Material Preview. And we'll drag the Cineversity logo file into that folder. Now when we restart Cinema 4D, we can create a new material. And when we right click, we can choose the Cineversity logo as our material preview object. And we can preview all of our materials on the Cineversity logo. So now you can take total control over your material previews in Cinema 4D.